you know what this site means. <laughs> I've literally just woke up. Sorry, excuse the eye crust. I just thought I'd grab my camera and start today super early. I'm so ill in the mornings. Like, I've just had some kind of flu thing, but hay fever really takes me over and we have to sleep with the window open because it's just so warm. The room is an absolute tip so i want to tidy that this morning to be honest a lot of the stuff is stuff i'm selling like over on my prt marketplace so it is just like you know stuff to get rid of so i sound beautiful this morning i've woken up feeling very happy to be healthy you know have a place to stay because that wasn't the situation a few months ago live with my boyfriend and his amazing family be thankful of my family like i'm just feeling really positive today compared to the last few days um, i haven't actually spoken about this online but my favorite cat actually passed away so our cat went missing probably like a week ago now and and that's probably contributed to the bugged up nose. One of our neighbours found him like four days later and he was in a really bad way. And we brought him home for four days. Obviously took him to the vets. He had all of his antibiotics, everything that he needed to have. He just didn't want to get through it. Through the night, two nights ago, he just wasn't really breathing. They took him to the vets the next morning and they did in fact put him down. But it's so weird because I literally didn't really like cats. Cats didn't like me, we didn't really get on. And I only knew him nine months. <laughs> But he was just my favourite thing in the world. And he loved our bedroom. And it's just really sad. So I think that's why I'm now feeling like more positive. You know, more positive outlook on life. You never know when the next day is going to be your last day. I know it was a cat. Guys, come on. I understand that. But he was actually my pride and joy. I loved him so much. I kept waking up through the night to let the other cats in through the window and the door. And they just absolutely love using our room as an entrance and exit to the house. But I'm not complaining. So today's agenda is getting these sorted. Scary business. Literally coming off and I keep catching it, I'm getting caught in my hair. You can hear my nose as I talk. Can you hear that? Rattling. <laughs> oh. And then I have a lot of like ad mini stuff to do, a lot of editing. So I want to go find a cute little cafe and go sit there. Our window is broke right now and this is what I have to do every morning. <sighs> nope. There we go. Honestly, my boyfriend's fixed it like five times. But I think we just need to get the whole window replaced, but <laughs> we're not gonna do that. My attire is so nice. Oh, let's make this bed. These are our little octopi and change face when you flip them. I love them. They're so cute. We always leave them unhappy. A happy home is a happy mind. Does anyone else's boyfriend shove their boxes off while they're asleep and leave them at the end of the bed? Because mine too. Hi, um, I just wondered if you had an appointment. Do you do biab? Because I've got acrylics on now, do you think they would have to have a complete take off and then do biab or would they be able to just take off the gel? And do buy out that's okay no not necessarily because i want them to grow but maybe we'll take them off there and we'll just see it whatever you think really yeah, yeah that's perfect thank you okay thank you so much see you soon Last time I went there, I said to them I wanted buy up. I'm sure you've seen in the last video. And when I went in, just did not get that. It ended up being acrylics because I think there was just a bit of miscommunication. So that's why I wanted to, you know, make sure before that they can definitely, definitely do that. So I'm having a full take off because obviously they can't, you know, just take off the gel and put the buy up on because it's supposed to be on a natural nail. Don't know if I'm going to have extensions yet. We'll wait and see. I just can't believe how well these have lasted. I do have some parcels to return. So by the time I do all of that, I think I'll be Gucci. So this video is sponsored by HelloFresh, if you couldn't tell already. And you join me in the kitchen now because I need to cook for the fam. So there is four of us eating. There's usually six, but two of them are at work. And if you've not heard of HelloFresh before, let me give you the lowdown. If you've been here for a while, though, you will know that I've been using HelloFresh for four years. I think like six years since I was in uni. Because the value for money is incredible. And I found it so hard to be healthy during uni because I didn't have a social life. I was literally just working all of the time. You uni guys know that that shit is time consuming. And by the time I got home, I literally just didn't know what to eat. I'd probably have a snack and that was about it. Very unhealthy habits guys so with hellofresh i got the health i got the convenience and i got the affordability so today's meal is chicken and halloumi shawarma i've actually had this before and it is top notch that's why i've chosen it again but we have a split of veggies and meat eaters in the house and i feel like this recipe is perfect because for the meat eaters they can have the chicken with all of the toppings and then for the veggies they can have the halloumi with all of the toppings this one actually comes with two sides as well we have a side salad we have spicy chips and we have a roast garlic yogurt that sounds right up my alley. So we've gone for street food today, but honestly, there's so much choice. You can say on there if you're pescatarian, if you're vegan, you're veggie. If you're trying to eat healthier, if you're trying to wine and dine someone at home with a little bit of a fancier meal, they got you covered. Basically, you can experience luxury in your own home 
without the hefty pricing. It's a win-win. The main thing though that I really liked was when I had a really busy week, my food was just waiting there at home for me. And if I'm really struggling for inspiration of what to cook, especially now that I'm cooking for a lot of people here, I've got the inspiration. I've got the recipe right in front of me that I can just follow. So I'm gonna crack on, but uh, there's a QR code on the screen if you do wanna scan it, or you can just use my code, has 60, that will get you the 60% off your first box, and then 25% off the next eight. I honestly would use it if I was you, because you don't get offers like that very often. I actually need to go get ready now because I'm meeting Anna in London. We're going to an Instagram event and then we also have Danny's event. I think I mentioned this earlier tonight, but oh my God, them chips. Mm. Oh, my boyfriend's gonna love this. Daisy Bear, look at you, you're so cute. You look like Dumbo. And of course you are too. <laughs> Daisy. I'm out and a bit. I'm gonna return these parcels. And then I actually remembered, I got a photo frame out from under my bed. I mean, my boyfriend don't have like a printed photo together in our room. It's just like photos of me and my friends, him when he was younger with his brother and sister. So I think it'd be a nice little touch for him to come home to. And the photo frame is so cute. It's like a cute little wooden frame. Hopefully I can try and find somewhere in town to get that printed. If not, I'm probably gonna have to go and walk 50 minutes into Jared's Cross, which it's fine. I just don't really like getting Ubers. Like obviously I don't drive and I'm learning to drive, but getting an Uber is just like completely defeating to me. I'd rather walk. So I'm gonna do that after my nail appointment, I think. It's annoying that they didn't do a bus from here to there, but oh well, it's fine. I'll let you know if I'm accomplished. perkiest of moods. I picked up our cat today and we buried Bugsy in the garden. So obviously I've only known him nine months as I said but my boyfriend's family have had him for two years and he was the best quirkiest cat ever. I really didn't like cats before I met him. He just made me feel so settled in. He'd always wake me up in the morning. He'd always be with us at night. So we've just buried him and it was super sad. So I apologize that this is not like a, you know, update like, ooh, got my nails done. But I will show you them now. But just bear with me trying to get through this and process this. I've never had to have an animal funeral before because my dog was cremated and I also wasn't there when he passed away. So I've never really had to experience that, but um, it's an experience for sure. But it was nice. Like we all said a few words. And yeah, it was just sweet, but it's tipping it down outside, which I thought was really interesting. It was just like pathetic fallacy, you know? Very movie-esque. These are my nails and I'm so glad I spoke up for myself this time because I did get biab. So originally they just put the clear biab on and I didn't really like it because you could see where I had the acrylic and gel from the previous time that they took off. So I just went with like a base color. I just went with a natural nude and this is actually my natural nail lamp. So when they were taking off the acrylic, I thought they were gonna have to, you know, like chop it down to the absolute base to get rid of the acrylic. But they didn't. They kept it to this length, which I love. I'm really happy with them. And I know it's not a French tip, but I did get that on my toes, which I love a French tip. I'm a bit of a whore for a French tip. So I then also got my boyfriend this card, which you would have seen me shopping about for because basically he started a new job this week and he's just absolutely smashing it. So we all signed it, got the whole fam too. And I'm just gonna put it in a card on the bed for when he gets home. It's today's been super stressful for him. Obviously because I'm self-employed and like I work from home, I don't really know how much of a big jump it is to start a new job properly. Obviously starting new managements and stuff, it's super exciting, but it isn't really nerve wracking. And I remember when I was in uni, and I got my first retail job, I was like, this is terrible 
terrifying like going for the interview and stuff and he's just had like a whole three week process of doing it all and he's just smashing it so i'm so happy for him i'm so proud of him he's finally doing what he wants to do so i just thought a cute little card would be nice and then i also got his favorite snacks only the real ones know you know what i mean guys there's a snail on our window <laughs> and it's actually so cute like this little antenna is adorable anyway i'm all home he's gonna open his card <laughs> Agree with Dad. <laughs> <laughs> That's very sweet. Congrats, baby. Who's my favorite set? Yours. Oh, baby. I love you. I love you too. You're really sweet. Always oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cute. No, I'm okay, baby. Okay. Look how far he's got. So he was here. Now he's here in the space of like five minutes. I tell you what, they say snails are slow. Snails pretty damn fast. A few moments later. Girls, I know I look a little bit different now. I actually had to get ready on the tube and I had the weirdest experience. This guy was out for me and he kept asking me if my jewellery was real. Obviously not, it's not real gold. He just kept asking me over and over and then he was like looking at people's bags and he was like telling me that he was gonna take me home to play the harmonica to me and eat beef. It was really strange, I don't really know, but I just kept Cute and nice. So I was like, oh, thank you so much. But I'm here with Anna now. Hey guys. We finally made it to the Instagram event. So this is the Instagram Creator Lab. I didn't know how many people were actually going to be here. We've seen so many people that we know. We thought it was going to be just like industry people, you know, learning how to like grow your audience and stuff, which it still is. But there's so many people we know. So Max is actually doing a panel right now. We're going to go watch it. Anna's just going to have some food. And there's a Bobology here, and they're giving away like free Bobology kits, which is so cute. I've got the milk one. So Sugar milk, but you can get uh, like a fruit tea, which is raspberry tea and passion fruit. Not really a big fan of passion fruit, so but it looks really cute in here. It looks empty now because everyone's at panels, but I'm probably gonna change. Let me show you my outfit. I'm actually just wearing this, and Anna's also kind of in a similar vibe. I do have like three outfits with me that I can change into. But yeah, did my makeup on the tube? What do you think? I've got no lipstick on, I've just realized. Take your time. Are you flirting? Do I just, okay, oh yeah? Yeah, hold the door. Okay, right. So, um, this is my gaff. It's 7.50 PCM. Um, we've got a little house plant to welcome visitors with. So nice. A nice little communal area. It's amazing. Uh, very natural daylight as well. Yeah. It's really, really sort of well situated. Very, very, very central London. Bathroom here, um, shower if it rains. It, like, if the rain defies physics, you just spray it that way. Defying gravity, that way. yeah, of course. You know, I do chow my inner alpha sometimes yeah. when I'm sitting in the shower and it does seem to magic in. Wow. Um, and of course, any excess goes what on. The, um, what's the aroma in here? It smells so is, nice. Um, I think I was given this for my late nan. It was Better Homes and Gardens hemp leaf. Wow. I'm, I'm really getting hemp. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and of yeah. course, this is a natural flushing. I love. Uh, wow. Um, and a little part of my mum. You know, you there. really yeah. go with the aesthetic yeah. of this place. Yeah, and then this is the bed. It's uh, a little bit thin on the but, side, but all I need to do is just sort of like manoeuvre. Yeah. Just, just get into one position yeah. and then it fits. So I come uh, really every good. night is a mystery. I love um, that. And then obviously this is a shoot for air ventilation, so it's got right. an air con system. It's uh -huh. really, really good. Um, but anyways, I'm gonna go to bed. So do you wanna? Oh, sorry. Thank yeah. you so much. Thank um, I'll catch you next time, hopefully. Bye. Sorry, bye. bye. Guys, we've had an outfit change, and I'm now literally doing my makeup at the event that we're already at. So that we can go to Danny's event, because look how oily I am. My knees fart. Bye, guys. That's it. That's it. That's That's it. Right. On. The writers have killed me off. Oh my god, and. and oh, okay. Oh, in the camera it looks like I've got control. Yeah, but not in person, right? Because there's no 
just arrived at Dali's event and she's personalised her little cards. How adorable. Like, I'm having dinner with her. Babe, I'm so glad I'm having dinner with you right now. Like, this is amazing. I love you. Yeah. So apparently this is really true for us. actually looks amazing. Is that a feather as well? Oh, and pumpkin seeds maybe? Yes, yes yeah. it is. And then we also have Chicken. Oh, and I also got a Vegemite. Yeah. That looks nice. Yeah. Oh my god, I can't wait. This is really nice. It's her event, but she's doing the uh, production and lighting. Yeah. <laughs> okay, please, Danny. <laughs> Sorry, just a little bit more to the left, please. <laughs> you don't know my left and right. Get your juicy drops. Add them in. So you can't really use these for absolutely anything. Yeah. Can you see? It totally changes the formula. Can you see that? Obviously, I'm running a small business. It's so hard. Woo! It's so testing it But I literally, this makes it worth it. And to see everyone using the products, Right, guys, I got sent a DM earlier. I'm basically trialing boosting my Instagram post because my engagement's fucking shite. So I basically was trialing it to see if it would work. And I'm getting DMs from like really random people, really random guys specifically, that obviously I'm just coming up on their explore page from this boosted post, right? I got this one voice note from a guy who, when I was in the car, I played it and I thought it was fucking weird anyway, but then it just got weirder when we just listened to it. So I'll insert the clip of that because I, I genuinely am losing faith in humanity because what's that was wild what's the actual f hey how's how are you i'm Marin, 35 originally persia from england and i'm the weirdest guy on the planet i think we look so good together you can check out my pictures if you want you know it's weird to say this but i like to smell your farts drink your piss every day oh my god i heard him say that i'll cook you the best persian food everything good no you're gonna have to go back i didn't hear him say no, that before no I want to smell your farts and drink your pitch <laughs> every day if you want. If you want. So my loves, we are back at the hotel now and do you know what? It was actually like a really I say short and sweet, but we were actually there for three I hours. Like, four hours. I feel like today's been really long. Yeah. I just look like I've seen daylight all day. Which aren't like Yeah, because like we've, we've been, been in buildings inside. all yeah. the time. Yeah, that's so true. And when we finally just came out, it was so dark. But we are back. I'm staying with Anna and I honestly, this is so weird. Like we have been in this hotel room so many times, but at so many different points in our life. Yeah, it just feels really strange being back here because we actually usually stay somewhere else. But this is bringing back so many mems. I feel like this um, is the happiest of being in this hotel. Yeah. Oh, by, by far. far. Jeez. By. Yeah, no, we've had some rough times in here. We are now back in the hotel room. We're going to go to sleep and I'm going to end this vlog here. I do just want to remind you though, if you do want to use my code HAS60 for HelloFresh, it gets you 60% off your first box and then 25% off your next eight which is such an amazing deal. And my boyfriend just texted me actually saying how much he loved the food because he actually came home from work super late. Miss you, so yummy, you so cute. <laughs> Tomorrow, I'm literally just heading back to home. So there's not really much to update you on there. But I love you all so, so much and I will see you in the next video, Goofy Girls. Bye girls. Bye.